What's good, everybody? Back with another reaction. Yeah, so <clears throat> everybody predicted it. So we get into Resident Evil 4 as a remake. So my history of Resident Evil is that, um, you know, once I was little, uh, I never played the games. I only played one game back in the day. Uh, and it was Resident Evil 3. That was the only one. But at that time, I was scared. I was too scared to play it at that time. And <laughs> one of the scenes from Resident Evil 3, right, was Nemesis. So it was this one cutscene, right, where um, Jill meets up with one of the star members at Raccoon at Raccoon at Police Station. So they meet up. They meet up, and you know it's such a relief to see them. And they and they go to hug each other and stuff like that. And then Nemesis just jumps right in between them, and then. <laughs> And then everybody, and then they just all screaming. Then the star members, star members try to run, try to run, but Nemesis corners him, and he just puts his tentacles in his face. I'm, I'm just, and as a kid, I'm just like, yo, no, no. And then he just dropped him right on the ground, just dead. And then, they, and then they turned to his face, and he just kept on saying stars. Yeah, that had me, that had me scared as hell. I didn't want to play that. I didn't want to play that game at all. Like at that time, it was scary. But um, all the new Resident Evils, I haven't played it either. I only watched it. On, I only watched it on YouTube. The cutscenes, and they're actually really good. Um, you know, Resident Evil Two, the remake. I like. I like that one. I think that's. I think that's everyone's favorite. And seven, 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 seven was brutal. Seven was very, very brutal. There's no game like that. It was actually going to be way darker too because um the lady that uh i forgot what the, the family was called uh that that got affected with the virus um she was actually supposed to be turned into a spider so imagine that like in the darkness and she's hiding <laughs> in the ceiling in the vents anywhere just dark like like the games they like the stuff they, they, they make up is just like unimaginable. So yeah, seven I think seven was the scariest one. But uh all the other ones, they're good. But um yeah man, so there's a remake for Resident Evil four. Uh there's a new trailer for it. Uh there's a new what is it, a new gameplay overview. Uh so I'm about to check it out what it's look like. So let's get into it. Hi everyone. I'm Yasuhiro Anpo, director of Resident Evil 4. And I'm Yoshiaki Hirabayashi, producer of Resident Evil 4. This title is a reimagining of Resident Evil 4, based on the original 2005 release. Similar to other titles in the series, we are carefully preserving what makes the original title special, while updating it with modern flourishes for everyone to enjoy when it launches in 2023. Today, we'll reintroduce a bit of the game's story. Resident Evil 4 is set six years after the events in Raccoon City, depicted in Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3. The main character of the game, Leon S. Kennedy, survived the Raccoon City incident and was assigned as an agent directly under the President of the United States. Leon is dispatched to a quiet village in Europe as part of a mission to rescue the kidnapped daughter of the President. Oh, shit. You might notice Leon is much more mature and fearless due to his past experiences. Yeah. The Ganado, the main enemies of this game, wait for him. The experience of being attacked by hordes of crazed Ganado is truly an iconic moment from Resident Evil. In order to truly bring out the concept of terror of people controlled by madness, the Ganado have been completely redesigned. Let's take a closer look at the game itself. The over-the-shoulder camera returns, of course. Leon arrives at a dense and dangerous forest. Yeah, this is very good. We want to nail the feeling of loneliness and fear of not knowing what lies ahead, even more so than the original. Of course, there will also be thrilling battles. People that played the recent Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3 should find this familiar. Look forward to future announcements, where we'll have more information on the game. Resident Evil 4 is being developed for PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, Series S, okay. and PC. The release date will be March 24th, 2023. 
We are aiming to create a Resident Evil 4 that everyone can enjoy. So please look forward to it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you so, so much. much. Everyone to enjoy it, huh? Well, if you enjoy your second death, set up. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it looks good. Um, Resident Evil 4, it, it does look good. Uh, but I still ain't playing it. Um, because I don't know what weird shit they got in there. Uh, so it's graphic, so and it's and it looks real dark. So this shit, oh man, uh, I wonder how this shit gonna look. I'm be watching the cutscenes on YouTube. I'm, I ain't buying that game, so that's that's it. I'm not, I'm not doing that. But um, yeah, Resident Evil, it looks good. But if y'all like this reaction, make sure you subscribe to the channel and uh, y'all have a good evening.